All right, guys, so I've gotten a few requests on sharing um, my Dash Trader setup, and in particular, um, uh, my custom buttons. And this is for day trading and for getting out of in and out of positions very quickly. Um, I, I prefer using buttons. Um, you can use hotkeys too with Dash Trader, um, but since they offer this ability of creating custom buttons I just found it easier um, to click to have this visual that I can actually um, edit and change to my liking um, you can change the text color the background color the code obviously and the text itself and even the size of the buttons so so this I found is very very helpful um, to me um, and I just would like to um, pass this on to you because Dash Trader, it's not, how shall we say, it's not a very user friendly or an intuitive program to learn. I remember when I first started studying the stock market, I was just overwhelmed. And um, I wish there were more videos that taught me this type of stuff, um, especially for day trading. You know for um, for momentum trading because dash trader it's it's a great platform I mean it's it's probably one of the the fastest if not the fastest um, trading platform that's ever been made uh, the, it uses very little resources uh, there's very little overhead um, so the response time on it it's very very quick so if you're with a broker and and I'm with I'm with Sure Trader right now. Um, if you're with a broker that um, that uses Dash Trader, uh, you're in luck. Now, the only downside, of course, is you have those monthly fees, so you pay for it. Um, but um, in many cases, it, it is worth it, and, uh, and personally, I I believe it's worth it. So, so this is uh, this window is what's called the montage. If you're not familiar, it's the most important window when you first load Dash Trader. You'll have access to um, all of these other windows you can load up, but the montage is the most important because that's where you'll tr actually trade. Now, when you first load a a montage, um, you won't have anything set up. It's just going to be empty. But you can see here, it's very easy to get get going. You right click to add a button. You add a row. Say I want four buttons. That adds the four buttons, and you simply right click and edit to uh, edit the button. So that's that's pretty straightforward, right? And you can add more rows say a row of one button and so on and so forth and that's how you build out your buttons now um, one thing to note too is if you right click well where you right click in the montage is important and this is something I had to figure out by trial and error so if I right click here in this area I get access to this menu now if you right click in a different area you won't um, and so I have my style set to basic. Now, when you first load, it's, it defaults to the default. And that just adds a little bit more busyness uh, to the... So I just like changing my style to basic just because it, it just cleans it up a little bit more. So that's just that little caveat. And there's, there's other little things I can get into, like you have to drag this anchor over to your chart in order to link the, to link the montage to your chart. And if you, you need to write, be able to, if you right click here, that'll tell you if the stock is shortable or not, but it has to be right here in this area. <laughs> Just a lot of little things you have to learn. Um, try not to get too overwhelmed. Um, I really wish this program was easier to to learn, but you know it's just um, it's just what you have to do. You just have to play around, and eventually you'll pick up all of these little 
details and hopefully um, you'll get the hang of the program. Um, so if you're new, just um, try not to get too overwhelmed. Just stick with it, spend time with it, and you'll eventually pick it up. So let me show you, let me dive a little bit deeper into my particular montage, my particular setup, and I'll minimize, minimize this. So I'll right click, edit button, and so this is my code. Now, um, I, uh, I, I have it set up where I enter at five cents above the ask. And so this gives me a five cent buffer just in case the stock is moving up. Um, I will be assured that I get an entry um, even if it's five cents above that point. That's just a personal preference. Um, you, you don't have to do that, um, but I do, I like that. And so he's, even if I'm trading a five cent ticker, I'll be assured that I'll get an entry. Whereas if this is any other number, I'll get an error if it's a five cent ticker. Um, just a little caveat there. Now, share position, uh, this, this is not share size, this is actual price. So when I press this button, um, and let me load up a stock here, I'm actually um, trading $300 worth of that stock. So if I press this, it automatically does the calculations for me. Um, rather than me having to do calculations in my head. So that saves me, you know, maybe a second or two. It's just, a, it's just a personal preference. And how you do it is just the share size divided by the price of the stock. And as you can see, um, my positions are very small at the moment, only because we're in a slow market. We're in the middle, we're, uh, we're in August, you know, at the end of summer, so the market's just been very, very slow. So I'm only trading very small position sizes, uh, $300, $500, $1,000, and $2,000, um, you know, it, it, with each trade. Um, but I'll, I'll adjust this as, um, you know, as the market picks up. So, um, so again, uh, oh, and by the way, um, day plus, um, this allows you to trade uh, during uh, after hours. So if you don't have the plus, you won't be able to trade after hours. And by um, equals load, this just means it loads the, the, the information. It doesn't actually send it. Um, and so, as you can see, yeah, when I click on a button, it only loads the data into the fields. I actually have to press enter in order to um, enter the trade. And so that's just a two-step fail-safe um, I like for getting into uh, positions. Now, for getting out of a position, if I were to right-click and show you my code, um, I have send. So when I click the button, it immediately sends the the data. I don't have to press enter. And that's just a personal preference um, for getting out of the position. I just like to have it that's that way. When I press the button, I get out instantly. And as you see here, um, I give myself a two cent buffer. It's a little bit tighter. Um, I may change this only because I didn't get filled the other day and I um, I lost 15 cents um, on that trade. Um, well, I, I was still green on the trade, but I um, the time that it took me to press the sell again, um, the, the stock had moved 15 cents down. So um, if I had a better, a slightly larger of a buffer, maybe three cents or four cents, I would have gotten a fill. So I may I may make an adjustment there. That's only for a fast moving stock, though. You don't need that, that much of a buffer if you're in uh, slower moving stocks. 
Um, so this is my code uh, for getting out. And finally, um, this is kind of a fail-safe last resort button. This is simply a market order, market sell order, to sell whatever my position is um, in a market. So this is just in case I get an error, I don't get a fill, whatever p potential issue that SureTrader might throw at me. Um, if I press this button, I'll be assured to get out of my position. And that's a, this has saved me a couple times in the past. Um, so that's why I like to keep this there. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, that's my that's my montage and that's how I set up my custom buttons and um, you know hopefully this has been helpful to you you know as I said um, there's not many videos on this on YouTube right now so I figured I'd just put together a quick video just showing you my my little setup it's very basic very straightforward um, but uh, hopefully you know that's been helpful to you guys all right, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll, I'll try to, uh, to get to them um, as soon as I can. Um, all right, guys, take care.